So when it comes to what to watch on TV or who's in charge of the remote, it seems like couples can hardly ever agree. A recent poll found that television is one of the most divisive topics for couples living together and that at least an average of four fights a week. So we asked the people what TV troubles are leading to fights in their relationship. Watch. Biggest pet peeve watching TV together at home. I can't watch it loud enough. You can't watch it loud enough? No, I always have to hear it. Turn it down. Turn it down. I don't want to watch that. It's too loud. What do you guys argue over? Uh, usually, when I gotta go back watching the movies, and she'll be like, oh, I didn't catch that, so we have to go back. That my husband hogs the remote. The fact that she does not like to watch movies more than once, and especially comedies. He's all about the Western and cowboys. And what are you about? <laughs> Drama, love stories. He watches the same yeah, programs every day. Does that drive you crazy? Yes. Then, Temptation Island is my it. favorite. I can't watch it. And he can't get into that. So he gets mad at me and then he mocks the show while I'm watching it, <laughs> which really gets under my skin. I'd rather him just leave the room. Who's in charge over the TV at home? I feel like usually it's me. I'm in charge at the end of the day because I let him have the remote. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I try to be, but it don't always work. Oh. Yes. But I end up winning eventually. Here to discuss the TV tug of war in the home, Fox News contributor Tom Shalhoub. Uh, Tom, what type of fights do you, do you and your wife have it's, about TV? You know, it's interesting because when you sent me the story, I thought, th there's not going to be anything. There's no, th we have no TV troubles in our mm -hmm. home. But then watching that video, I realized, yeah, these are the things that always come up. Yeah. First of all, volume, okay? I like it very quiet. The other thing is, is I like the subtitles on the screen at all times. Oh, really? Every show. Doesn't matter if it's English or whatever, because I like the TV volume so low, and then if you can't hear it, and you say, hey, turn it up, I say, I'm not turning it up, read the subtitles. So <laughs> that's, you know, everyone has to read. I, I don't like the subtitles, they're you distracting. Don't. Unless it's like, you know. It's funny, once I got used to them, I like them all the time now. And another pro problem is that there's so much audio in, 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 mo in movies and TV today, and we don't have a souped up system. Mm -hmm. So I can't hear the dialogue, you know, because I want to keep it low enough so that the bombs don't. Well, see, that, is, that explains it. it me, we and the producers were just talking about this in the commercial break. This is what I can't deal with with the ladies is that I will concede, like, we just have different genres that we like to watch. Yes. You know, the reality, they like to do that. And, that, and I'll concede, and I'll just watch what they want. You will. I will. I, I, I'll do it what they want because it'll, it'll stop the fighting and we'll just move forward. And I hate going around in circles. But the moment I do that, it is then, no, I want something that you like. Well, you're not going to like what I like. So why do we keep going around in circles? And a lot of my boys have the same problem. Their wives or their girlfriends want them to watch what they want to watch. But they really they don't because they want, they want them to TV. enjoy something she together. She wants to watch reality TV and, they and just you don't like want to watch it. Well, no, but I will watch it just to appease so we can just move forward. Then let me watch what I want to watch later. Well, why don't you trade? So you watch a little bit of like the Housewives, the Fighting Housewives show, mm -hmm. and then you can watch Ice Road Truckers or something. That's like a guy show. You know the real question? Are you a Swifty? <laughs> are we going to do Taylor Swift? Yeah. There's, She's... A, there's a lot of world leaders that are asking... Taylor Swift to visit their country. Now, I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. I mean, I, I just don't like her. I, her voice is annoying to me as well. I don't know if the world leaders are fans of her voice either, but they know she is, a, she is an economy on her own. Oh, it's about the money. She brings millions to these countries, and they want the economic stimulus. She is basically her own country. She's that big. What is the hype around her? I, oh, people like her. My daughter likes her. She, we, we couldn't get tickets. I tried to get her tickets. I was willing to get out there and give Tom, good money to I get... I was given two free tickets. To Taylor Swift? And I gave them away. Don't That's say how that! Much I'm, okay. like. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Tom, you can catch more of Tom on the Big Weekend, Big, Big Weekend Show tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. That's right. Don't go anywhere. More Cross Country after. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.